I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Fulton County District Attorney Fawny Willis has just sent a powerful letter to her staff telling them that even though Donald Trump is out there attacking her, even though Donald Trump, through his political action arms, have purchased ads to run in the Atlanta area that accuses her of some outrageous and defamatory things, that they shouldn't comment, that they should rise above it. Donald Trump has been out there giving speeches, saying the most disgusting, false things about her. And she says this is totally false, but that it comes with the territory, I guess, where you are law and order and being a professional and that she's not distracted by it and that her staff shouldn't be either. Here's the letter uh, that the Atlanta Journal-Constitution got their hands on. It says, uh, good morning, FCDA family, the Fulton County District Attorney Office family. It is my understanding that an ad was put in the Atlanta market to run between August 9th and August 13th that will have derogatory and false information about me as the district attorney of the Atlanta Judicial Circuit. Apparently, a lot of money was spent to run this ad in the Atlanta market over the next five days. Each of you represents me, especially the ADAs, the assistant district attorneys, who all took an oath under my name. We often remind you, if you are an ADA, you are my personal staff and represent me. Many of you are quite kind to me, very protective, and will become very defensive if someone attempts to attack me, the office, or your colleagues. You may not comment in any way on the ad or any of the negativity that may be expressed against me, your colleagues, this office, in the coming days, weeks, or months. We have no personal feelings against those we investigate or prosecute, uh, and we should not express any. This is business. It will never be personal. We have a job to do. In this office, we prosecute based on the facts and the law. The law is nonpartisan. You should feel no need to defend me. I shared with this office at last Friday's meeting one one thousandth of the negative or derogatory comments I receive. I invited you into an hour of my typical day. I am not concerned with the calls, emails, or ads, and you should not concern yourself with them. This is a reminder that it is against office policy to comment on these matters on social media or any public forum. No employee of this office may make any public comments related to the noise. Your instruction for me is to ignore all the noise and keep doing your job with excellence. Please make it an absolutely phenomenal day and stay safe. Yours in service, Fawny Willis, Fulton County District Attorney. A very powerful, powerful letter. And the ad spreads lies that she engaged in sexual relations with gang members that she was prosecuting. It cites a Rolling Stone article, which doesn't say that at all. And Donald Trump has gone on and has done multiple interviews and has given speeches where he has accused her of these heinous and disgusting things. Play this clip. This is Donald Trump this week in New Hampshire attacking Fulton County District Attorney with these defamatory statements. Play the clip. They waited. And I probably have another one. They say there's a young woman, uh, a young racist in Atlanta. Say racist. And they say, I guess they say that she was after a certain gang and she ended up having an affair with the head of the gang or a gang member. And this is a person that wants to indict me. She's got a lot of problems, but she wants to indict me to try and run for some other office. Uh, what's going on in this country is, uh, and by the way, wants to indict me for a perfect phone call. This was even better than my perfect call with Ukraine. Remember that? This is Donald Trump from the other night on Newsmax making defamatory statements about Fulton County District Attorney Phony Willis. Play this clip. People know next week. Fani Willis. Fani Willis, the prosecutor in Georgia. They're setting up barricades outside the, the terrible, Georgia. Terrible, they're, terrible, terrible. They're in preparation, obviously, I would assume, for an indictment. 
What are your thoughts of her? Because there's some discussion that she may have some questionable background. I, you know, there's some, her father may or may not have been in Black Panther. I think that was discussed. She's had perhaps incorrect relationships with some of the people, some of the gang members that she's also prosecuting right now. Can she give you a fair shake? No, of course not. Look, I don't think the people of Georgia, where I did very well, and I won it the first time, and I won it, I think, by much more the second time. I can say that about the whole election, too. I don't think they'd stand for it. Uh, this woman is not a capable woman. She's a woman that has, uh, I mean, and maybe she'll change her mind. And I don't know what she's doing. I really don't know. All I know is she could have done it two and a half years ago if she was going to do something. And this is about a perfect phone call, a call where I'm questioning the election. I'm telling them that, in my opinion, the election was rigged. And they're saying that I was, I did something incorrect. I didn't do anything wrong. I believe I won that election by many, many votes, many, many hundreds of thousands of votes. That's what I think. And I expressed that on the phone call. And I said, I don't know what the number was, like 11,000 or something. I said, what I need is 11,000 votes. I won this thing by hundreds of thousands of votes. That's my opinion, and it's a strong opinion. And I think it's borne out by the facts, and we'll see that. But uh, she wants to and do something on a perfect phone call. This call, I say, was more perfect than my call with Ukraine, which turned out to be a hell of a lot better than people even thought, because I was right about Ukraine. When I said you should look into and take a look at Biden, I called to congratulate Zelensky, nice guy. I call and I get along great with him. I get along great with Putin. And frankly, I'll have a, something worked out within literally 24 hours. I will. A little while ago, we had the idea that we wanted to sell the best pro-democracy merchandise in the game. And candidly, we had no idea where to get started. That's why I'm so glad that I found Shopify. Shopify is the commerce platform revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide. Now, whether you're a garage entrepreneur or IPO ready, Shopify is the only tool you need to start, run, and grow your business without the struggle. Shopify puts you in control of every sales channel. So whether you're selling satin sheets from Shopify's in-person POS system or offering organic olive oil on Shopify's all-in-one e-commerce platform, you're covered. And once you've reached your audience, Shopify has the internet's best converting checkout to help you turn them from browsers to buyers. Now we use Shopify in the Midas Touch merch store and it's completely revolutionized how we do our business. It allows us to easily manage our shop, view analytics, provide the best customer service and streamline our entire online shopping experience from A to Z. We wouldn't be able to bring you all of the products that you know and love without Shopify. And we can't speak highly enough about them. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the US. And Shopify is truly a global force, powering Allbirds, Rothy's, and Brooklyn, and, and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across over 170 countries. Plus, Shopify's award-winning help is there to support your success every step of the way. This is possibility powered by Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash Midas, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash Midas to take your business to the next level today. Shopify.com slash Midas. We believe that Fulton County District Attorney Fawny Willis is gearing up to indict Donald Trump uh, within the next week. We expect it to come uh, next week. Uh, and uh, as Fulton County District Attorney Fawny Willis gets ready to indict Trump, Trump is doing what mobsters, thugs, and criminals do. Sadly, what the modern day MAGA Republican is all about. Threats, intimidation, defamation. It is utterly disgusting. It is utterly despicable. And it reminds me as well the way Donald Trump is attacking a black prosecutor in Fulton County, the way Trump and Giuliani also attacked the black election workers, Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss, and defamed them with the kind of similar type of, of, of just think it's very racist kind of attacks on them, racist, misogynistic attacks that he aims specifically um, in, in this way. And remember what Giuliani said about Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss, which he's now admitted in a federal court case in Washington, D.C., that he defamed them? 
This is uh, this was presented in the January 6th committee's presentation where Giuliani says that they were uh, smuggling in votes like heroin dealers. And Donald Trump and Giuliani also implied that they were drug dealers and had a criminal record. And that is why they filed a defamation case against Rudy Giuliani. Here, play this clip of Giuliani. Here in the day of Ruby Freeman and Shay Freeman Moss and one other gentleman, quite obviously surreptitiously passing around USB ports as if they are vials of heroin or cocaine. I mean, it's, our st- it's, it's obvious to anyone who's a criminal investigator or prosecutor, they are engaged in surreptitious illegal activity again that day. And after a week ago, and they're still walking around Georgia lying. Should have been, they should have been, uh, should have been questioned already. Uh, their places of work, their homes should have been searched for evidence of ballots, for evidence of USB ports, for evidence of voter fraud. That video was from Rudy Giuliani's appearance at a Georgia state Senate hearing. For her part, Thawne Willis, in the interviews that she's given, she says she's prepared. She says she's ready and uh, indictments will occur before September 1st, although we believe that those will take place um, next week. Here, play this clip. First. Well, I mean, I've made a commitment to the American people, but most importantly, the citizens of Fulton County, that um, we were going to be making some big uh, decisions regarding the election investigation and that I would do that before September the 1st of 2023. And I'm going to hold true to that commitment. The work is accomplished. I mean, we've been working for two and a half years. Here is the Fulton County Sheriff, Sheriff Labatt, saying Donald Trump is going, if if and when he is indicted and arrested, he will get uh, booked. He will get fingerprinted. There will be a mugshot taken of him. He will be treated no differently than any other criminal uh, defendant who uh, is processed through the Fulton County Sheriff's Department. Play this clip. And so if you're indicted, then we're going to treat you as though you were indicted here locally. And so we will continue to do fingerprints, mugshots, et cetera, uh, in the safest possible fashion. Although Fulton County District Attorney Phony Willis says that she is not going to respond and she has instructed her staff at the district attorney's office not to respond, I'm going to respond. It is so deeply disgusting and pathetic what MAGA Republicans and Donald Trump are doing. What the Republican Party has become to hoist this malignant, narcissistic, sociopathic traitor to be a cult leader of a political party that is no more. The Republican Party is now a MAGA Republican cult, a bunch of thugs who engage in despicable conduct, lies, defamation every single day. And then when you criticize them, they go, oh, you're canceling me. When you criticize them, they go, oh, I'm just using my First Amendment rights to threaten and harass people. When you criticize them, they go, oh, it's the deep state coming after me. Pathetic, pathetic behavior. So anti-American, so unbecoming. Such a bunch of lying Bonnie Willis is a very special prosecutor. She, her dignity is exactly what we should expect in people in those positions. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 1.5 million subscribers. Thanks to your support. Check us out at MidasTouch.com, the new homepage for all things Midas Touch. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.